Based on over 100 people's review of their interview, these are the questions that you have to know how to answer. Roughly, this would be around $20 an hour to $50 an hour. Strictly from a perspective of automotive companies, this might be the best intern pay range I've seen. In this video, I'll be covering everything about a Ford internship, including information like pay, benefits, and things you should know before getting an interview. After making my video about my Boeing internship, someone from Ford reached out and basically shared their experience in pretty heavy detail of everything they went through as a Ford intern. And of course, to stay consistent with the rest of the videos in this series, I did a ton of background research and read so many reviews to the point where my brain could no longer process them. Also to change things up a little bit, I'm going to be reading some reviews at the very end of the video where people share their real experience with their Ford intern. If you have any other questions about early career development or just want to chat, you can always reach out to me on LinkedIn and connect and I will make sure to respond back. Without further ado, let's get into this internship at Ford. So I'm going to explain all the different types of internships you can get, but first let me explain the structure of how the internship works. During the first week of working as an intern at Ford, you'll go through an orientation process and you'll meet the team that you'll be working with for the rest of the summer. In the next one or maybe two weeks following that, you'll get assigned a project, and this is the project that you'll mainly be working on throughout your entire internship. Now your project is going to be determined and dictated by what your job is, which I'll be going through more in specific in a minute. So throughout the entirety of the internship, Ford is going to offer plenty of social events, and you'll even get to meet a member of the executive team. And of course, closing things out, you get to present that project that you've been working on all summer along with anything else you may have done with your team. Okay, so that's the structure of the internship. Now, what types of jobs or what types of internships does Ford offer? So we're going to jump over to the website and we're going to see what's available as an internship today. As you can see, there's openings within communications, human resources, finance, land operations, sales, safety, marketing, treasury, engineering operations, capital markets, cybersecurity, enterprise technology, software engineering, creative design, global consumer insights, environmental, supply chain, manufacturing, engineering, quality, strategy, and a whole lot more of engineering. And I want to point out as a side note there that I just looked up the term intern and these are the jobs that popped up. There may be more beyond this. So what I just went through was Ford's specific job site. You should apply directly on this site and you can do it simply by Googling Ford jobs and going through these links as I am right now. When you click on this link, you can search internship or filter your search by location and type. Click on the job you're interested in, then follow the steps to apply. Just a reminder and a heads up to those who don't know, you have a greater chance of getting an internship if you're a rising senior or rising junior, which means right now, before the summer, you're either a sophomore or a junior. Some managers tend to stay away from freshmen because they have a lower conversion rate, typically because they still have multiple years of internships left and the chances of them coming to that job full time are pretty slim. But as I said, don't be afraid to apply if you're a freshman, you still have a fighting chance, I'm just saying specifically what I've seen in my experience. Also, I know I don't get too down and dirty with resumes, but if you're going to apply to this, please attach a resume and a cover letter. Trust me, it goes a long way. Glassdoor is a pretty valuable tool, which I've used to create a pretty good picture of what the interview is going to look like. So first off, of all potential interns that interviewed at Ford, 80% of them said they had a positive experience. One thing that was surprising to me was that over half of the people who got interviews were actually from campus recruiting events. Compare that to just 28% of people who got interviews who applied online. Now this is very different compared to normal, where if you take the group of all the people who got interviewed, normally about 60% or so applied online. And in terms of a difficulty rating, it got a 2.7 out of 5, meaning it was pretty average in difficulty. Based on over 100 people's review of their interview, these are the questions that you have have to know how to answer. Why do you want to work for Ford? What is your interest in the automotive industry? What do you hope to achieve out of this interview? Describe a time you had an innovative approach to solve a problem. Describe a time when you were in a difficult group and had to solve a problem. If I were you, given that they were the most common questions asked, I would run through those five questions and have sure answers ready just in case they pop up in your interview. In a majority of the interviews I saw for internships were one step, meaning you would only have to go through one interview to get the job. Most of the questions asked seem to be more situational or about your background, meaning primarily they're going to ask about your resume and a few behavioral questions. And then of course, in terms of technical question, this all depends on what your job role is going to be. If it's something in business, generally you'll get less technical questions compared that to a software engineer who will probably get more. 
It's important to note that you get benefits starting on day one as an intern. And for the background, I was going through the 2022 Ford Guide for Intern Benefits, meaning some of the information might be a little bit outdated and it might have been shifted or altered a little bit. First, for 401k, Ford offers a 5% match for every 90 cents on the dollar. Basically, it's saying that if you elect to put 5% of your money down into your 401k, the company will match 4.5% of that. And Ford also has these vehicle plans. There's two of them. They were a bit hard to understand for me as I tried to do some research, but generally they're just savings programs if you want to buy a Ford product. One of the nice things that Ford offered that kind of stood out to me a bit was the TWA, which stands for Transitional Work Arrangement Program. In essence, this allows you to just leave the program temporarily, whether it's for educational or personal reasons. But this is nice specifically for interns because if you have one year of school left and you leave your internship, but you want to come back full time, you might be able to work part time or do some sort of leave of absence to make sure that you have your job guaranteed for when you come back. It helps both sides, honestly, and the intern knows they get a job when they graduate, and the hiring manager knows they get you when you graduate. And lastly, you can join a bunch of diversity groups, which I have up on the screen here, which are good for networking and much more. To sum up the benefits, while they can be fairly lucrative, the financial side isn't actually too appealing compared to other companies. But that's why we have next section, which is where we look at pay, and we'll see if that makes up the difference. <laughs> According to Ford's statistics, as of 2022, the average pay range per month was from $3,000 to $9,000. And given that an internship is three months, this would mean that you would get paid somewhere between $9,000 and $20,000. While that information is definitely helpful and nice to know, how does it translate to hourly pay? Roughly, this would be around $20 an hour to $50 an hour, assuming anywhere from a 10 to 12 week internship. But obviously that's a pretty big range and isn't too helpful. Generally, it seems that jobs like safety, quality, and some branches of business are toward the bottom end of that range, with human resources, operations, in the high 20s, engineering generally is in the mid 30s, and software engineering, no surprise, seems to be making the most, which is closer to that 50 mark. And honestly, looking at this pay range, this is one of the most competitive and high paying ones I've seen. And I mean that more in the manufacturing side of things. Of course, if you're gonna get an internship at Apple or Google, you're probably gonna make much more. Strictly from a perspective of automotive companies, this might be the best intern pay range I've seen. So I guess going back to my comment about the lack of financial benefits, the pay range does pretty much make up for it. Okay, so now we're gonna go through a few reviews on Glassdoor. Let's see what people are thinking. This person gave it five stars and said that the pro is everyone is helpful and nice and the con is that you aren't always kept busy. This is a problem with pretty much any internship you're gonna have. You're never gonna have 100% usage rate and a lot of interns outside of their projects just find so much extra time to the point where they're somewhat bored. Unfortunately, can't really do anything about that though. It's just kind of the nature of an internship. This person gave it five stars. They're a software developer intern. The pros were I liked the location near my home and the cons were felt like I didn't always do enough coding. In terms of the pro, I know this is another big one that I hadn't even mentioned throughout the video, that Ford has a bunch of facilities throughout the country. This is what the US map looks like of all the Ford facilities. And this person was a summer research intern, they gave it four stars. They said the pros were challenging problems, great colleagues, state-of-the-art facilities, and the cons were that the large company, hence limited exposure. So first to cover the pro, I have definitely seen videos of some of the facilities at Ford and they look very impressive. And in terms of the con, that's unfortunately what comes with working for a big company. Everything is so filtered and funneled down to where you have to work on whatever activity you're assigned to do. There's definitely more creativity encouraged at smaller companies, but you also don't get paid as much, so what are you gonna do? This person was an intern in Michigan, didn't do much, remote work, gave it a three out of five. The pros were good pay and easy work, and cons were didn't have much to do. I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you're a remote intern, there's like a 90% chance that you're gonna have a bunch of downtime. Way more downtime than you would have if you were in person. And last one from a finance intern, they gave it a four out of five, the pros were great culture, fun people to work with, and the con was bureaucratic management, very common in large corporations. I kind of alluded to it before, but bureaucracy is a killer for large companies, and you're going to run into it no matter what large company you work at. And looking at all the information today, I would say that Ford definitely looks like a great place to be as an intern, and if there's an internship open or a requisition open, you should go ahead and apply. Well, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some valuable information from it. Remember to reach out to me on LinkedIn for more, and if you've been an intern, at Ford before, please share your experiences in the comments below. Also, if the video helped you at all, I hope that you would help me back by liking and subscribing for more. And I will see you next time.